This is the EcoRico fuel-efficient cook stove, which is helping to bring clean energy to Haiti. In 2010, Duquesne Fernard of d &E Green Enterprises had just completed building a factory to house his growing eco-stove company when Haiti was hit by a devastating earthquake. This is it. This is where we had uh, our magnificent building erected to house the, um, the project. And that's what left of it. It just rubble and it just uh, break my heart to see all this work and effort put into it and that's what left of it. 220,000 people lost their lives and more than a million were made homeless. It was a terrible blow to the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, in which 80% of people live below the poverty line. Today, 360,000 people are still homeless. Decane has set up production under makeshift tents. Fuel-efficient stoves, which use less charcoal and, as a result, less wood, are vital in Haiti. The country has suffered massive deforestation, as this image of the border between Haiti and its neighbor, the Dominican Republic, shows. Less than 2% of Haiti's landmass is covered by trees. The design of the stove is simple, a pottery bowl to burn the charcoal, surrounded by a heat-conserving metal case. It halves charcoal use and substantially cuts carbon emissions. Less charcoal means less tree being cut. Therefore, you're going to see a higher rate of reforestation. Duquesne first got the idea for the stoves on a work placement in Africa. While I was in Ghana, I saw the stove, somebody selling the stove on the side of the street. Then she started telling me about all the benefits a stove like that provides. And the context of Ghana is very similar to the context of Haiti when it's come to deforestation, unemployment, health issues. As in much of the developing world, Haitians cook with charcoal using traditional stoves like these. The EcoRico stove uses 55% less charcoal, saving users 50 cents a day, which means the cost of the stove can be recouped within four weeks. As well as helping the environment, the eco stoves have crucial health benefits. Globally, four million people die each year from the effects of cooking smoke. I find the new stove uses far less charcoal. Before, with the old stove, the kitchen was full of smoke and I was coughing all the time. For me, the health and environmental aspects are quite important. But really, like, you know, for my end users, the people who are using the stove, the most appealing aspect is the, the saving. I heard about the stove on the radio, so I bought one. Now I use much less charcoal, which is great. It really costs much less. This is uh, life in Haiti. Uh, what you see here is how people live on their daily lives. In a country where you have more than 66% of people unemployed, obviously everybody trying like, you know, to make a living. So what you're seeing here is uh, the perfect case of Haitian survival. With jobs so hard to find in Haiti, the employees at D&E Green Enterprises appreciate just how lucky they are. With this job, I'm able to support six people at home. Six person. And Duquesne's plans for expanding the company are already underway. As soon as finance can be secured, he'll build a new factory, which will allow him to greatly scale up production. We think this project on its own will create anywhere between 400 to 500 direct jobs if you come by workers and distributors. I have been able to feed my children and the stoves are really flying off the shelves. I am happy to start to see the impact of the stove but really um, what I'm most interested about is that greater impact that um, we could have you know, in Haiti which is lifting people out of poverty which is restoring sense of dignity in the life of people. We are not in the business of cooking stove, we are in the business of really helping people better their lives.